Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. So, let's start off with John Marlena and eventually Steve. So, they call Steve over, what Marlena does, and tells him, you know, hey, listen, let's sit there and clue him in on the plan. Constantine overplays his hand, right? So, Remember that scene where Constantine came to John in Steve's office and put him under, and then Marlena came in, and she had and he had to sit there and quickly, like, you know, take him out the trance and everything? When she came in there, she knew that there was something that was off. And so, long story short, she figured out, they figured out, that Constantine was using the card. So, you know, she has, like, tricks or whatever to sit there and try to deprogram people like Steve and Harris and, and John and stuff. And when um, Constantine thought that he had the actual, you know, the actual um, prenup, apparently he broke in earlier. Like, John is like the smooth silver fox, okay? I'll just go with it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just go with it. So apparently he broke into the safe earlier, knowing that most likely Constantine was going to have him break into that safe. So he broke into it earlier. He put a fake um, prenup there. So when Constantine put him under, he gave him a fake, um, a fake prenup or whatever. Constantine burnt it, thinking that you know he got one over. The whole time. You know, Constitution that they're thinking that he's, oh, I got him under the spell and everything like that. He's able to sit there and resist the, um, you know, the pawn card. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the Kiriakis place, um, Xander and Sarah come over and um, Constantine's there. So the probate with Victor's will is, is, is all done and everything like that. And Maggie could start to disperse the money, which that's what she originally planned. She planned on giving some money to the family and, you know, donating it to charity. <laughs> when he, when Constantine heard what Maggie was going to do with the money as far as share it with everyone else, he was like, no, 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 you can't do that. And he turned around and Xander was like, why can't she do what she wants to do with her money? Right? He was a hundred percent on he was a hundred percent on point. And Maggie and Sarah, which I'm gonna be honest, I, I really don't understand why she's being why is she not being more protective? Like usually in these scenarios, the daughter, whoever, you know, whoever they're gonna you know, whoever they're gonna marry, the son of the daughter is usually very overprotective. And she's like Oh, well, you know, Xander, come on now. Let's just, you know, let's just chill out. I'm like, what, what do you mean chill out? Like, did you not hear his reaction of, like, the minute, he, you know, like, who is he to sit there and decide? And that's literally what Xander said. Xander was like, who are you to sit there and decide on on what, what she's going to do with her money? And Maggie was like, okay, well, you know, here's your chance to defend yourself. Like why are they per it's like why are they sitting there writing some of these characters just like I mean I guess with Maggie part of me is like I feel like they're just writing her stupid. And the other part of me is like I get it that she is grieving and you know, she's lonely and everything like that, but like you know, to sit there and really dismiss what her family's saying and Sarah to being like, Oh well come on, Xander, just chill out. Like even afterwards when when um Constantine gave some sort of BS excuse. It was good enough for Maggie. And Sarah was like, well, you know, it's not like he can actually get anything, you know. It's it's a prenup. He can't, you know, he signed him willingly. You know, he can't get anything. And Xander's like, listen, I have a bad feeling. He's going to try to get that money anyway. You think that he can't get that money just because the prenup's there? You think, like, like seriously. I, it just... <sighs> Now, if you saw the previews, you know eventually Maggie finds out 
Okay. This is not even a spoiler. It's literally in the previews that Maggie finds out she is not happy and she is ready to sit there and turn the tables. Um, Brady comes over to pick up Rachel and Kristen is playing one of her many games. Um, oh yeah, you know, you, you can get some more time with Rachel or whatever. And it's like, what are you, what are you doing? Talking about child support and everything like that. And I'm kind of just like, is that even, is that even an issue in her case? Because it's not like, the, you know, she's in the mirror. She has money. She's rich. Okay. So, you know, Kristen was like, well, you know, I get it. You know, you, um, you don't have to pay me any more child support or whatever. You're not going to be getting anything from, from Victor, which I have to tell you the truth. I'm not going to lie. That just seems so out of pocket for Victor to just leave money to his only son and Maggie. So the grandkids, people that was close to him and everything like that, just, yeah, well, you know, whatever. Because even, even, even Alex was looking at it, how much money he was getting. He was like, whoa, he was getting a lot, but, uh, yeah, I could buy a couple of private planes with it. Teresa slip of the tongue of um, oh, we're gonna be rich. Oh, you're gonna be rich. Or oh, no, set for life or whatever. And you know, she's meant to talk about celebrating and everything like that, and she starts monologuing to herself while then to go while Alex goes out and, you know, gets some champagne and caviar and stuff like that. And of course, he comes over um, when Brady's there and starts kissing on, on Kristen and everything, and they have their little gross scene or whatever. I don't know. Sometimes it's just the over affection. And I get that they're, oh, you know, they're doing it over the top to make Brady jealous. But of course, Brady goes to, um, goes to, what's the thing, Hard Gwen? I, I, I really can't wait till this chick leaves. <laughs> I really can't wait till this chick leaves. Um, what I'm hearing on the streets. Um, but of course, Brady goes over there and tells Teresa that, and Teresa is jealous, and she's like, well, you know, I broke up with him, but it's it's a big mistake or whatever, and, you know, Brady's just like, so are you in love with him or whatever? It's like, well, why would, I haven't even known each other that long. And she's like, I don't, I don't know, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm upset or whatever. And I'm like, well, you, you broke up with him, so, like, Whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I mean, on top of the fact that you are literally, you know, um, using this dude or whatever. So I don't really feel bad about her. What feel bad for her whatsoever. Constantine comes over and huff and everything. And, you know, he bangs in the door. He starts walking in and Brady is like, what's, what's going on? Brady finds out that Mag is getting married. He's like, oh, OK, so I'm not getting any money. And you didn't even sit there and tell me about this marriage. So that's that's great. That's awesome. Also, I didn't get to sit there and spend any time with my daughter. So I'm just starting off on a fantastic day. Um, anyway, Brady leaves and Constantine pretty much is like, you need to step it up. You need to make sure that you, you get this money from Alex because I'm not going to really be left with anything after Maggie gives it away to charity and the family. Like... So he makes sure, he's like, you know, you better not disappoint me, this, that, and the third. I'm just like, Teresa, why are you so afraid of this, man? Like, what do you what do you think he's going to wind up doing? You know? I mean, he really put fear into her, but it's to say, oh, well, your son is not going to trust you, and Brady's not going to trust you. They'll get over it. They, they, they will get over it. You know, it is not the end of the world. But she's still willing to go with this daffy ass plan. Um, which, honestly, to tell you the truth, when, when the truth does come out, she is probably going to have to wind up leaving town because Alex is not going to want to have anything to do with her. She's not going to be able to find a job. Her son is probably not going to want to have anything to do with her. So, yeah, she will be going right back to California. I mean, Steyer was a little kind of thrown off by, like, his, just his outbursts of, what do you mean? You can't, you can't sit there and give that money away to them. But for some odd reason, she's still choosing the naive path for God knows what reason. So we are dealing with that. That's, that's pretty awesome. Um, 
I feel like that's about it. That's a general. Yeah, that's that's a general. Um, that's the only one that happened with this episode. If I didn't miss anything, you know what to do. Write it down in the comment section tonight. I will not be uh, live streaming. I'm going to the movies to see a new anime. Gundam something. I have no idea what the rest of the title is. Freedom or something like that. Um, but I, I will be back tomorrow. If everything goes well, we'll be back tomorrow live streaming again. The usual time. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.